and it's quite simple. What you do is if you identify a hazard that is being particularly well controlled, then just list all of the control measures that you've got in place in column three. And then if there are any additional controls that you identify that you could put in place to reduce the risk even further, then you put those in column four. On the other hand, if you identify a hazard that is not being particularly well controlled, you might not have anything or very little in column three but it follows on logically that if you haven't got very much in column three then you will have some suggestions of what you can do to to control the risk in column four so 